in our daily devotional today i will be speaking on the covenant that is in the blood of jesus the covenant in the blood of jesus open your bible with me to the book of matthew chapter 26 verse 28 the word of the lord says for this is my blood which confirms the covenant between god and his people it is poured out as a sacrifice to forgive the sins of many for this is my blood which confirms the covenant between god and his people it is poured out as a sacrifice to forgive the sins of many when jesus was about to die on the cross of calvary he told us that his blood which he was going to shed, was the blood of the new covenant between god and his people and that the blood was poured out to forgive the sins of many people his blood was poured out to forgive the sins of the world i want you to know today that our god is a god of covenant that is why the entire bible is a book of covenant the old covenant and the new covenant let me tell you this god wants to relate with his people based on covenant commitments god is a covenant keeping god and he loves to relate with his people based on the covenant commitment what is covenant when we are talking about covenant a covenant is an agreement between two parties that is binding unto death a covenant is an agreement between two parties that is binding unto death that is why the foundation of covenant is trust and faithfulness trust and faithfulness you know that in our relationship with god we trust him to be faithful to his covenant and i want you to know that god is always faithful and his faithfulness never fails the foundation of covenant is trust and faithfulness the foundation of covenant is trust and faithfulness you see god also expects us to be faithful to him in keeping his covenant and that is why the bible made us to know that god blesses a man who is faithful to him abundantly he blesses a man who is faithful to him abundantly the book of proverbs chapter 28 verse 20 says a faithful man we are bound with blessings but he who hastens to be rich will not go unpunished a faithful man we are bound with blessings but he who hastens to be rich will not go unpunished when jesus died for our sins we saw the faithfulness of god to mankind and that is why the covenant god caught with us in the blood of jesus is not only the new covenant it is the everlasting covenant the covenant that we have with god through the blood of jesus is a covenant of life it is a covenant of grace it is a covenant of mercy it is a covenant of better things based on better promises you see jesus christ himself is the surety of the covenant that we are talking about that is why those of us who have come to god for refuge through the blood of his covenant have a sure hope in christ friend i want you to know that this covenant that we have with god through the blood of jesus cannot fail our hope is secure our tomorrow shall be all right and our eternity is glorious in christ jesus i want you to rejoice today because you are covered by the blood of god's everlasting covenant it is a covenant of life it is a covenant of grace it is a covenant of mercy a covenant of better things based on better promises my friend if you come to jesus rejoice because you are covered by the blood of god's everlasting covenant come to jesus today 
the covenant that we have with God through the blood of Jesus Christ is an everlasting covenant. The book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 20 to 21 says, Now may the God of peace who brought off from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, and ratified an eternal covenant with his blood, may he equip you with all you need for doing his way. May he produce in you through the power of Jesus Christ every good thing that is pleasing to him. All glory to him forever and ever. Amen. The covenant in the blood of Jesus is a powerful covenant and the foundation of that covenant is trust and faithfulness. The blood was poured out to forgive the sins of many. My friend, are you ready to confess your sin to God? Are you ready to trust Him and remain faithful unto Him? I would like to pray with you right now. Let's talk to God in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank You. Lord, we thank You today for the people that have listened to Your Word all over the world. Lord, we give thanks to You because the blood of Jesus was shed for us for the remission of our sins. The Bible made us to know today that it is poured out as a sacrifice to forgive the sins of many. Lord, today I ask that the blood of Jesus will purify us today from every evil work. I pray that today you will sanctify us completely in our work with God through the blood of Jesus. Today, I use the blood of Jesus to overcome all the devices of the evil ones against your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, I pray today for those who are here to put their trust in God, in the blood of Jesus that was set for the remission of our sins and for their salvation. I pray that you will open their eyes and you will help them to trust you. You will save them today. Lord, through the power that is in the blood of Jesus, we renew our covenant of life today, covenant of grace, covenant of mercy, covenant of better things. Lord, we give you thanks for answering our prayer. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thanks for listening to this message. I would like to read your comments below and do tell us about the impact of this message in your life. Thank you for joining us. I hope you've been blessed tremendously with this life-changing insight during our daily devotional today. If you are stopping by for the first time, I welcome you to this platform. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you have not done so before. And remember to share this message with your friends, with your family and your loved ones. Thanks for doing that. If you would like to be notified of our new uploads, click on the bell icon when you subscribe and remember to turn on your notifications. God bless you. Till I bring the word of the Lord to you next time, I'm Rendegbenro. Bye for now. God bless.